what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here so in this video we're going to be talking about screen 5 and the likelihood of them sending out multiple cuts of the film to certain individuals when it's time for paramount to send out what's called screeners so individuals like chris stuckman if you watch people such as chris chris stuckman on youtube who have those platforms or uh other youtubers who do film criticisms on their channel and if you just are someone who reads criticisms on these big notable websites those individuals depending on their connections they get what's called a screener prior to the film being released and that's how these critics are able to then disperse their review to the masses prior to the film's release to build hype or to build anticipation or to completely bash the film and diminish whatever hype may have existed in your brain but now that you're seeing what other people think you're kind of putting your expectations a bit lower that's how that works so the theory is that there's a chance that with the fact that we know screen 5 is going to have multiple endings and multiple edits to prevent leaks and spoilers they could send out multiple versions of the film with different endings to critics when it comes time for screeners to be sent out now my thoughts on that would be one of them would at least have to be real and what i mean by that is one of them would at least have to be the film that's going to be shown to everybody on january 14th 2022 because what i would hate to see is for them to do that with a theatrical release i don't think that would work because what that would do is that would basically you'd have to work with what you have done and make multiple edits for scream six and you have that that just becomes too messy you can't you can't do that with the official release because you, you you're putting yourself in a position where you have to create multiple endings to fit the version of the film that a person watched depending on what theater they went to depending on what country they went to that's why i'm saying they can't do that when it comes time to the actual theatrical release but when they're sending out screeners that sounds like a very interesting clever way to keep everyone on their toes because then what would have me floored is if when i watch a screener if i get one of course i go to look at the same film in theaters everything's the same but then things start to change as the film is coming to its close and the killer is someone completely different other than the person that i saw when i had already seen the film but the narrative still makes sense just as it did in the screener i saw but the theatrical version is going to be much different in terms of who the killer is but it still brings everything and wraps it up in a nice bow where there's no illogical things that have happened it's still the same movie front and back but the killer that's placed here is different than the person that i had gotten in the version i had saw at home i think that would be a clever way to throw people off that would definitely be a clever way to get different thoughts and opinions on the screeners that are sent out so and obviously that would be just be very shocking because if i sit at home watch screen five give my non-spoiler review and then I go out and watch it in theaters when it comes out because I'm going to do that probably three times at least. <laughs> when I go see it in theaters and it's a different killer, but the narrative and everything still works so well, that's just going to be shocking. Um, and then that would then confirm we won't we won't know who saw the actual true film that they're going to go with until we all see it in theaters. Those of us who get screeners, we won't know which ending they are selecting until we go see it in theaters that in and of itself is kind of a reference to what went on in the events of scream 3 and the way roman was choosing how he was going to kill the victims involved from the stab 3 cast around the stab 3 production i think that's a very clever way to not again only keep us on our feet keep things unpredictable but you're also still playing on things that have actually happened in this series in the past such as what happened in scream 3 with roman and how he was going around killing the cast of stab 3 and we didn't know how he was going to do it because there were three different versions of the script so i think that's a clever way to keep everyone on their toes i think that would keep everything very exciting uh no one would know which version is the true version they have decided on until we go see the cut that they put out in theaters and like i already mentioned i don't think it would be wise to release multiple cuts in theaters because then you're saying all of these are official cuts because they're all different but they're all being released to two theaters with different endings and then what you're being forced to do is since you wanted to do that 
those cuts that you decided to release, all those multiple official cuts you put out, you have to now make sequels and give narratives that will line up with all those endings that you decide to throw out to the public. That's why I'm saying they're not going to do that. That That's creating too much of a mess. The only way that would work with this whole secret ending stuff is if when it comes time for Paramount to issue out those screeners to critics, they send out different screeners that have potentially different endings. That's the only thing that would work. That is the only thing that would work. When it comes time for the film to come out, that is when we'll know what cut they decide to go with. Releasing multiple cuts officially to different theaters across the world, that's just gonna create a convoluted mess for yourself. Because then when it comes time to do the next film, you're gonna have to branch out and come up with something to fit all those narratives depending on what film you saw, depending on what theater you went to, depending on what country you're in, that's not gonna work out very well. That's just creating more work for yourself. But I like the idea. I think it's very clever. I think it could work. I think it would be very interesting. Now, the likelihood of this happening, I think it's slim. But given that they have all these different edits, I don't see why you can't toy with the idea. I don't see why it can't be explored. Uh, you're not doing it with anything other than the screeners that are getting sent out. And that that way it would prevent it would prevent people. What I what I would also think is clever maybe they don't send out different screeners but what they do is they they give out a disclaimer where they say this version of the film that you're watching might be different compared to others or might be different compared to others that are receiving this same link uh to prevent to, pre to prevent and preserve the story to prevent leaks to prevent anything coming out but then that disclaimer could be a bunch of bs and it's nothing but to just, again, prevent spoilers. And we're all watching the same movie. They didn't send out anything different. They just really don't want any spoilers out. I think that would be another clever thing to do. Uh, but again, that is lying at that point. But still, anything to protect it from getting leaked. <laughs> but let me know what you guys think about all this down in the comment section below. I don't really see them doing this. I just wanted to talk about it really quick because I think that would be a very interesting thing to do when it comes time to promote the film and send out screeners weeks in advance before it's released. Since it's coming out on January 14th, if it doesn't get pushed up to Christmas like I hope it does, I'm expecting to still see it around Christmas time anyway if everything falls into position how I want it to. I'm expecting to see Scream 5 before the year is even over because by that point, it will be January 14th right after Christmas. So around Christmas time, maybe even a little sooner than that, they could be sending out screeners right then and there or they might wait till the week before release. I would hate that. I would prefer they send this out weeks in advance just to build hype. But let me know what you guys think about all this down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe, turn on post notifications, and miss a video. In the description, I have links to my social media accounts, my Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there, of course, if there's any movies, news, or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future. With all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.